inertia and drag. So animators call drag the effect that you see when something soft like hair or cloth or soft flesh uh, seems to trail behind the rest of the motion. So you can picture that in this uh, dancer's skirt or the tail of the horse as it's moving. Uh, if you have trouble picturing that, here's a little video showing this. So you see the uh, drag in the skirt and in the hair. Now, uh, drag in animation is entirely due to inertia, so it's explained by the, the law of inertia. So uh, here's an example we've looked at before, a character standing on the bus, the bus accelerates uh, forward, and the character seems to drag behind in this case. Uh, and of course, uh, in reality, the um, character as seen from someone standing on the street is actually uh, remaining in place by inertia and simply the uh, bus is uh, moving out from from under them. So from the point of view of someone uh, sitting in the bus, uh, they look like they're falling behind and to the person who's falling they seem to be falling behind them. But uh, really it's uh, inertia that's uh, causing this effect. And uh, if we have a character sitting on the bus, uh, when the bus accelerates uh, forward, that character, uh, her hair seems to uh, drag behind. So again, this is just exactly the same effect as, as we just saw. Uh, and here's a just a quick video of that. Now, uh, a closely related effect that we also talked about a little bit is uh, follow-through. So if we have the case where the bus is moving but then comes to a sudden stop, so this is the, the reverse, uh, then the bus uh, has uh, decelerated, uh, the character was moving, and then the character continues moving um, though the bus has come to a stop, the character uh, continues moving uh, by uh, inertia. So the law of inertia says an object in motion remains in uniform motion until acted on by an unbalanced uh, force. So this uh, follow-through is uh, explained by the law of inertia. And again, the character sitting on the bus when the bus comes to a sudden stop uh, her hair is also seen to exhibit uh, this follow-through, so that's just the reverse of what we saw with the uh, drag. And here's a quick little video of that. So just see the wisp of hair that flies forward when the head comes to a stop. Uh, now, we have a similar uh, drag when the character uh, swings her head around. So the um, hair is uh, trailing uh, behind. Again, the same, same effect of inertia. Uh, here's a quick example of that. Now, uh, there's another effect here that you may have noticed is that besides the hair dragging behind, it also uh, flies outward. And uh, if you watch that, that hula skirt video again, you'll see that uh, when I'm uh, turning uh, my hips, the hula skirt uh, flounces uh, outward. Now, uh, this outward uh, pull is uh, usually thought of as being due to a centrifugal force, which is uh, pulling the, say, in this case, the hair uh, outward. Uh, but this uh, so-called force is actually just another example of uh, inertia. So uh, to, to sort of see uh, how this works, um, just think of when you're uh, driving in a car and you take a sharp uh, turn, it seems like you're being pulled to the outside 
on the curve of the turn. Uh, but if you imagine yourself sitting in the car, uh, if the car suddenly disappeared, by inertia you would continue moving in a straight line. So the car makes a turn, but your natural uh, sense by uh, your natural motion by inertia would be to continue uh, moving in a straight line. So if we think back to the bus example, if the bus takes a sharp turn, then the person standing on the bus uh, would, by inertia, tend to continue moving in a straight line, which means they are thrown to the outside uh, bank of the, uh, of the curve. So again, another example of uh, inertia. And uh, just to, to summarize, uh, here's a, a quote from uh, The Illusion of Life. Uh, now we could use follow-through on the fleshy parts to give us the solidity and dimension. We could drag the parts to give the added feeling of weight and reality. It all added up to more life in the scene. The magic was beginning to appear. Now here the solidity and weight uh, that they're referring to is a sense of uh, solidity and weight arising from uh, giving a sense of inertia uh, to the characters. So in uh, summary, uh, this effect, uh, so-called drag, uh, is what you see when a soft material like hair, flesh, cloth uh, trails behind the rest of the motion of the character. And uh, this drag, as well as follow-through, uh, are both explained by inertia. That is, um, for drag, anything that's not moving will remain at rest, and for follow-through, anything that's moving continues moving uh, in both cases until acted on by an unbalanced force. And uh, one more uh, property or effect that is uh, due to inertia is the apparent outward uh, pull that we attribute to uh, centrifugal force is also due to inertia. So um, objects uh, move uniformly in a straight line until acted on by an unbalanced force. So uh, if you turn uh, a corner and uh, inertia would have you move in a straight line, then that means you're moving to the outside of the, uh, of the curve. So hopefully that's uh, clear and it explains uh, how uh, inertia uh, plays a role in, uh, in animation. And in some of the uh, upcoming tutorials, we'll talk about uh, when you have unbalanced forces, uh, what happens to the motion, what kinds of um, effects do you have, and the timing, spacing, and path of action um, due to unbalanced forces. So, see you then.